Located at Fort Knox, Kentucky, the United States Army Center for Personal Claims Support can assist soldiers and civilian employees with every stage of the claims process. This video will provide some tips and best practices to help ensure your move and any potential claim is successful. A good place to start is the Moving Tips page of the U.S. Transportation Command's website, move.mil. You should make your own list of expensive items. Include brand names, model numbers, and serial numbers of electronics, appliances, lawnmowers, firearms, and anything else that falls in this category. Keep this list in a safe place, as it will make filing a claim much easier if these items are missing at delivery. For electronics and appliances, it is recommended that you take video footage of these items in use to prove that they are in good working order prior to your move. You could substantiate the date of the video by zooming into the date of the local newspaper. On moving day, you should be prepared to list all electronics and other items that are valued at $100 or more per pound on a high value inventory form. Remember that many expensive shoes, purses, art, and collectibles may exceed $100 per pound in value. It is recommended that you transport small, expensive, and sentimental items with you rather than allowing the movers to pack them in your household goods shipment. Things that may be easily stolen and highly desirable can include jewelry, cash, small electronics, and coin collections. Identify items that you do not wish the moving company to pack, including luggage, clothes, uniforms, important paperwork, and anything else you intend to travel with to your next duty station. Secure these items in a location that moving personnel do not have access to, such as in your vehicle, stored at a friend's house, or in a locked room in your house, so that there's no misunderstandings with the moving company. The moving crew may disassemble some furniture so that it can be safely shipped. It is very important to collect and safeguard the hardware for these items, including bolts, nuts, screws, washers, brackets, or anything else required to reassemble your items. Ziploc bags with the name of the item written in permanent marker work great for this purpose. The hardware bags for all your disassembled items should be placed in one box or location for easy access at delivery. You may consider including things like remote controls and cables for electronics in this box as well. Because hardware boxes are a frequently misplaced item, some personnel can carry their hardware box with them to their next duty location instead of packing it on the moving truck. Either way, you want to make sure that all hardware is readily available on the day of delivery so that the moving team can reassemble your items. Pro gear needs to be identified separately from the rest of your shipment because it does not count against your weight limit. Pro gear consists of any professional items required to maintain your job, such as medical equipment, tools, special clothing, or reference and training materials. Pro gear includes Army issued organizational clothing and individual equipment, or OCIE, which is only government equipment that has been issued to you. These items should be kept separate from personally owned pro gear for accountability purposes. The moving company should create a separate inventory for these items, and you will need a copy of your OCIE hand receipt, which can be downloaded from AKO under My Clothing. This concludes the pre-move portion of this video. Next, we will discuss what takes place on packout day, or days, depending on the size of your shipment. Packing and loading will be very busy days. Asking a friend or neighbor to care for children and pets on those days will allow you to remain focused on the inventory and packing process. This will also prevent pets from sneaking into shipments. This situation has happened in the past with unfortunate results. The packing crew may make two or more inventories of your household goods. First is the high value items inventory. It is important that all items valued at $100 or more per pound are listed on the high value inventory to ensure you are properly compensated for any items that may be lost or damaged. The second inventory form for household goods should include the vast majority of your property. 
Review the inventory sheets as they are prepared by the moving crew to ensure they accurately account for your property as well as its condition. Not every item will be listed. However, large or expensive items should be listed individually. If you disagree with the mover's description of an item's condition, make a note on the inventory page next to that item, along with your initials and date before signing off on the entire inventory. Pro gear may be included in the household goods inventory, except for OCIE, which should be inventoried and packed separately. Separate any personally procured items from government issued items and have your hand receipt ready for the inventory. Once packing and loading are complete, the paperwork will need to be finalized. Verify that all inventories accurately account for your items and their condition. Again, Record any discrepancies regarding condition of your property prior to signing the final inventory. You will sign these documents before the movers leave your residence, and that signature may be used to establish which items were included in your shipment, as well as the value of these items based on their condition. Ensure you receive and retain a copy of all shipping documents, including inventories, before the movers depart the premises. If at any time during the move you have concerns or disagree with how the movers are operating, you should call your installation transportation office and ask for a quality assurance inspector to provide assistance at your residence. You can find the contact information for your nearest transportation office by using the move.mil locator map. This concludes the pre-move and pack out activities video. If you have questions or need assistance with any stage of the claims process, you can contact the Army Center for Personal Claims Support by phone at 502-626-3000 or by using the email address and website displayed on your screen. Thanks for watching and good luck on your move.